Chemistry is a natural science which studies the structure of matter, chemical changes occurring under certain circumstances, and the regularities that can be drawn from that. Muslim scientists have deepened their knowledge in this domain as well. However, rather than learning about their fundamental contributions from scientific databases, their ideas are only to be found in fictional novels. This is due to many people's incorrect image of the Arab's way of doing chemical research. The term of chemistry is generally used when talking about the kind of chemistry that was allegedly not yet practiced like we do today. The Ordinal of Chemistry states that chemistry as a science dates back from around the 17th and 18th centuries. Compared to today's standards, chemistry would not be practiced in a scientific way before then. This means that a chemist of that time didn't particularly look for a critical explanation of chemical symptoms. The pre-17th century science was thus called alchemistry. Several scientists countered this worldwide opinion. Some facts show that the Muslim scientists did actually contribute to the so-called alchemistry. Eric John Holmyard, a famous historian, chemist and Arabist, ascertained that the preposterous claims of scientists like Berthelot were incorrect. In Makers of Chemistry, he elaborates on the evolution of chemistry from the very beginning until modern times. In this work, he states that Islamic chemistry is in fact a base for modern chemistry. He talks about several Muslim scientists, including the most acknowledged chemist, Jabir ibn Hayyan. Jabir was born around 721 AD and died around 815 AD in the village Tus. He grew up in a family where chemistry was not unknown, as his father was a pharmacist. That would most likely be the cause of his interest in chemistry. Trevir's father was later executed due to that time's political struggles, which forced him to flee to the city of Kufa. The city was then ruled by the Abbasid Khalif Harun al-Rashid. Jabir was able to practice science at the highest level thanks to his connection with the Barma kids. According to Holmyard, one of the fundamental aspects Jabir brought forward was the development of the practical side of chemistry, performing experiments. Experimenting separates science as practiced by Muslims from the ancient Greek tradition of speculation. Jabir's attention to precision led him to create scales that would weigh with an accuracy of one fix of a gram. To him, experimenting with matter meant that he could mix, heat, cool, grind, bake and stir various substances. The traditional image of an alchemist's workplace looked a lot like what we could call a chemistry laboratory today. In order to perform his experiments accurately, he designed different kinds of new vessels like the retort. His experiments with various chemical processes allowed him to trigger reactions like reduction, calcination and perhaps the most important, distillation. Using his homemade alembic, he created a simple way to distill. An alembic is a simple construction of two bottles connected by a tube. One of the bottles is heated and causes the fluid inside to condensate and drip down through the tube. The alembic was later used to refine mineral oil into kerosene that could be used as lamp oil.